The project is um, an exploration of the space between two-dimensionality and three-dimensionality, which has been an ongoing kind of basis for everything that I've been doing for the past 12 years. Um, and specifically, this show comes out of research into the garment designs of early 20th century French designer whose name is Madeleine Vianney, and she invented the bias cut. And the bias cut is a, is a way of cutting fabric across, the, across diagonally, the warp and the weft, which results in it being stretchy and pliable. So it, it, this was a, a very kind of um, uh, important time as far as the emergence of abstraction, the emergence of, um, the emergence of democracy uh, in Europe and the West. Um, and what the invention of the bias cut did and the necessity of, of women having to move through cities and actually physically be able to do labor um, necessitated this shift to an ability to kind of move and it was paralleled in, in all kinds of other developments around the early 20th century. Um, and that's where the costumes that you see behind me came in. They are based on Viennese designs as well and they're these floating paintings that's silk filled with ping pong balls and you get into the water with the costumes and they become kind of two-dimensional forms on the surface of the water. The third kind of um, element that I've pulled into this is a Victorian um, structure which was called a uh, bathing machine which was uh, used in Europe and also in North America on beaches as a change machine so when beaches gender desegregated and um, the emergent middle class started taking holiday time uh, men and women particularly started needing to have bodies together and a Victorian custom being as repressive as it was um, dictated both both the experience of having a body together in public but also the experience of facing the water facing the elements facing an experience of nature with this box on wheels which was often pulled by a horse and you you would essentially get pulled into the water in your full attire and then change inside of it into something that was slightly less bulky and at the outside end of the, this machine, there would often be a, a working class, um, a working class person, who were the only, usually an unemployed fisher person, that now employed by the state, to sort of um, usher you into the water in this kind of bizarre ritual of baptism and you know <laughs> uh, social experience. So I became kind of fascinated with these boxes as both as kind of metaphorical spaces to contain the idea of transformation, a transformation that was going on in terms of um, bodies, relationship to time and space, a massive social, like, societal transformation that was occurring, a massive economic transformation that was occurring, and a way, a very kind of human way to ritualize the chaos that is that kind of transformation and how and the kind of pathos that exists inside this this idea that you could get inside a box and you would that that would then kind of mediate the experience of being faced with the ocean or being faced with your own body or being faced with like an experience of like emergent sexuality being faced with all of this stuff um, I wanted to have these kind of frames that exist. So if you look inside into the gallery, it becomes in some ways like a colored field painting in that, in that there's like a, a certain kind of color in, the, in this sort of foyer space. And then the hallway, which mirrors the, the color of the bathing machine is a different space again, but you end up with this kind of geometric abstraction of a, a painting like this frame is a painting. The way that the objects in the far gallery are placed on the, on the walls, also, they, it also, you know, you have these kind of distinct 
groupings, but then a whole wall will become a, uh, uh, an, a, a kind of painting as well. It will become its own kind of framed space. And the, and the, the gallery itself, because of the, the way that the walls and the floor are kind of immersive, it, it, it also allows you to kind of move that frame around. Um, I did, I did want to, so along with this idea of movement, two dimension, moving from two dimensionality, this kind of headspace into a, a, a other three dimensional kind of more nebulous body space. Um, I wanted the passage through the gallery space to kind of feel like it offers, it offers that sense of movement as well. The literal way to interpret that is, you know, like that you are, would be moving through the water onto the beach, you know, that there's a kind of passage through something, that there's a passage through time. The bathing machine also feels like there's an inside and an outside, and sometimes they kind of feel like they're reversed and that you, you get sort of like brought through it. 